Hey guys, it's Caitlin, and today I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup routine that I wear to school. I'm a freshman in high school, hashtag ninth grade. Ew, that was very ugly. I'm a freshman in high school, and I wanted to show you guys the makeup that I wear to school. Um, I think I did one of these for 8th grade, but my makeup routine has switched so, so much. In 8th grade, I wore a lot of makeup to school. Well, a lot of makeup that I thought, and now I barely wear any. But I know a lot of girls look for inspiration in other girls' makeup routines and like to steal some of their tricks and tips or whatever. And today, I decided to sit down and show you guys what I do. This isn't going to be very in-depth. I don't do a lot to my face. Also, I have this huge pimple right here, and I tried to pop it, and now it's like super red. So we're just going to ignore it. We're going to name it. Charlie. No, I don't like Charlie. We're gonna name it. We're gonna name it Carlos. I like Carlos. So yeah, Carlos is just doing big. He's sweltering over here. He's thriving. So if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button right down below. I drop usually three to four videos a week depending on how busy I am and then you can see me in your subscription box. Also, if you're new here, you wouldn't know but I do shout outs every single time I post a video. So if you want to have a sister shout out in my next video, then all you have to do is turn on your hashtag post notifications. You click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button and you can get a chance to win a shout out in my next video. So the shout out of the week goes right here. Thank you so much for having on your hashtag post notifications and being early to every single video I post. Also, go follow me on Instagram at Katie underscore McKenzie where you can see me post some cute Instagram photos and add me on Snapchat at Katie McKenzie. Also, always down below. It's currently Saturday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon and I have not done anything today but sleep in that bed. I took a shower. That's something. But other than that, Carlos and I are just chilling. So normally for school, I wake up at seven o'clock usually. And um, I know that's kind of late. Some people wake up at like four o'clock in the morning, but I get to wake up at seven because I'm hashtag blessed. Normally my under eye bags are super puffy and I have really small eyeballs if you can't tell and my eyes are very hooded. So I take this pure Hydra Gel Lift Stick and I put it on underneath my eyes and on my eyelids. This is what it looks like. It's just this tiny little hydrating stick that's like baby pink. And I just run it all around my eye, just like in a circle. And it gets rid of some of the puffiness on and under my eyes. I got this and I showed it in a video, I think like a month ago, but it came in this pure set that pure sent to me. And I've been loving this. I use it every single morning. And actually this week I didn't have time and I was like rushing to do my makeup cause I missed my bus <laughs> and I didn't put this in all day. My eyes just felt so tiny and swollen. So this, I actually have seen a major difference and I really recommend it. It came in a set with like some other pure stuff and like with this pure miracle mist, I don't know. You can probably find it online but I really like this I feel like in the morning you're so dead and so like not wanting to be alive that just something cooling underneath your eyes to like pick you up is really easy and um, to many people's surprise I don't wear any face makeup I don't wear foundation I don't wear concealer I don't wear powder I don't wear blush I don't wear bronzer I'm basic <laughs> in the eighth grade I used to be so extra I would wear foundation primer concealer powder blush highlight bronzer all this stuff to school and I would not leave my house if I didn't have it all on I was so self-conscious and I don't necessarily know if it was all because I was like not comfortable in my natural face or if it was just because I enjoyed doing makeup so much but like I would not go to school if I didn't have my makeup on I would wake up like an hour and a half early for school so I could do my entire full face and like my old videos from January February of this year I have so much makeup on. My eyebrows are so dark. They're literally like bricks because I used to use a dark pomade and it is bad. And my mom and like my entire family always used to tell me like your eyebrows are so dark. And I was like, no, they're not. They look fine. And like since my eyebrows are naturally very light and very thin and skinny since I am naturally blonde, I was so self-conscious about not filling in my eyebrows. I would do them so thick and so boxy that it would look terrible. So now I've learned and I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Blonde. This is my favorite pencil and allows my brows to get so nice and natural and wispy and pretty well they're natural for me at least I use this every single day it's the only thing that lets me get my brows the way I like them I like to make them a little more defined but wispy and kind of like thick I don't know does that make sense I never do my eyebrows on camera it's just something I'm like not good at and I know a lot of beauty gurus like say that but I just don't do my eyebrows on camera I think I've maybe done them on camera like one time in my entire life so I'm just gonna skip over this because I feel like it's so weird to like talk into your brows at the same time so you get the little 
and fully my fear. Maybe I'm not really drunk, maybe I'm really good at faking. So those are my brows filled in. I like to follow the natural shape because I do have a naturally nice shape to my eyebrows, but all I do is fill them in with color just because it makes them look darker and more defined. A lot of people think that I wear a lot of makeup to school when in reality, all I really wear is mascara and eyebrows. Now, that's all I do is I just kind of fill them into the natural shape and then I set them with brow gel. So even when I did used to have brick eyebrows and make them literally black, I used to use this eyebrow gel and this is the e.l.f. Clear Brow Gel and Last Mascara. It's $2 from the drugstore and I love it so much. I have three extras in my drawer because I heard it was going out of stock, um, but then people told me it's not going out of stock, so I don't know if it is or not. But this is the best brow gel I have tried. It locks my brows in place. You will not catch them moving. I know normally people with not a lot of eyebrows don't set their eyebrows in place. But if I don't, they will be crazy. And then you can definitely tell that I filled them in with a pencil. So I just lightly set them. And then it makes my brows stay all day. I just like to make them look natural, thick, pretty, filled in. But like it doesn't look too overdone. At least not to me at least. <laughs> So the next thing I do is I curl my eyelashes. Again, I am naturally blonde, so my eyelashes are <laughs> blonde. And they stick straight out. My eyelashes have no curvature to them whatsoever. So curling my eyelashes makes a big difference. I curl them for a long time and I kind of like do like this. I know I look insane, but I try to make them as long as possible because they are so short. And to my surprise, I have not actually found a mascara that I've been in love with. I have found a lot of mascaras that I like, but then I'll use them for a while and get tired of them and start using a different mascara. So, um, my mascara preference changes a lot, actually. If you watch any of my, like, other videos, I'll probably say, like, I love this mascara. It's my favorite. But I genuinely haven't found a mascara that has stuck with me for so long. I know there's so many good ones out there from the drugstore, like the Maybelline Lash Sensational, which I used to be obsessed with. They also have the L'Oreal Paris one that looks like the Too Faced BTS mascara. There's so many good ones out there, but currently my favorite combination has been this Maybelline Colossal Volume Express mascara. It's a super thin wand that's very curvy, so I can get right in the root of my eyelashes and then brush them up. And they look super long like this, but just wait until they fall at the end of the video and they will look so short. They're just long like that because I curled them. By the way, this is a Kevin Aquan eyelash curler. It is so dirty and disgusting. It really needs to be cleaned. But um, they sent this to me and I love this eyelash curler. It's the best one I've tried. It is $25 though and I know you can buy eyelash curlers like anywhere. But this is a really good one if you want to try it out. If you're willing to spend $25 on an eyelash curler. I try to do everything in my possible will to keep my eyelashes long and luscious and beautiful. It doesn't always work, but I try. <laughs> All right, so I just did a second coat on that side and we're gonna do a second coat on this side. And then normally I have been going in with this IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara on top of it. This was in my BoxyCharm this month, but I got this mascara and I've been liking it for going on top of that other Maybelline mascara because that one like makes my eyelashes long and separated but this one makes them black and like thicker. It also makes them clumpier but like it's fine. So now that my top eyelashes are done, I take the same Maybelline mascara and I put bottom lash mascara. I prefer to use a thin wand to just lightly coat them a little bit so that they're there but not like boom. So now we go in with a Q-tip and we wipe up any mascara mistakes. I get mascara everywhere like underneath here, up here. and. A trick that a lot of people don't know but if you just wait for the mascara to dry if it gets on your face and then wipe it up with a dry cotton swab or whatever this is it literally just magically erases it so normally this is where I'll stop sometimes if I'm feeling a little feisty I'll add inner corner highlight and highlight on my nose this is normally what I leave the house looking like Monday through Friday, but sometimes, like I said, if I have the extra 30 seconds, I'll put on a little bit of highlighter. The highlighter that I love is this ColourPop one. It's Super Sock Cheek Pearlized Highlighter in the shade Flexitarian. This is a cream highlight, so it does look natural, and I'll just take it on my fingertip, put a little bit on my nose, just kind of rub it in on my cupid's bow and then put it on my inner corner like i said this definitely does not happen every day it's only if i have a tiny bit of extra time and if i'm feeling spicy but yeah that would be it so it just kind of opens up the eyes a little bit more it like brings glitter to the center of your face i don't know i like it it's pretty but yeah this is my everyday makeup routine the only other thing i would do is add carmex i love carmex everybody at school always makes fun of me for using so much carmex 
This is the makeup that I catfish all the boys at my school with. Just kidding, no one's interested in me. I feel on my eyebrows, I do mascara. That's pretty much it for this makeup routine. Uh, that is my everyday makeup routine for a ninth grader in high school. This is what I show up to school looking like every day. My eyelashes look so long, like I'm actually so happy. I'm surprised I haven't fallen yet, like ooh. Also, can we not mind my nails? I know they are the crustiest things you've ever seen in your entire life. I'm going to get them done today and I'm pretty sure I'm vlogging that, so check out a nail vlog coming up soon. We got them done, it's all good in the hood. But if you guys did enjoy seeing my face and if Carlos joining us, then please don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Katie underscore McKenzie. Add me on Snapchat at Katie McKenzie and subscribe down below to become a Kate-ster. Don't forget to turn on your hashtag post notifications by clicking on the little post notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a video. Also, if you've made it this far into the video, comment Carlos for president 2020. I think Carlos should be our president. He'd probably make good laws. And if you haven't seen my last video where I decorate my pumpkin Oliver, definitely go check that out. It's such a cute and fun video. I loved it so much. So click the little I button up here to check it out. I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for all the opportunities that you provide me with. You make me happy and I love you. I cannot thank you enough for all of the support and endless love that you bring me and joy that you bring me each and every day. Stay should pop in and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.